Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz from DIY. In today's video, we are decorating my Christmas tree. I'm so excited to share this with you. It's going to be like a red and black buffalo check theme. If that's not your theme, no big deal. You could take some of the tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you and use them in your decor. And if you wanna see my last year's tree, I did like a white winter wonderland theme. So I will link that down in the description box so you guys can go watch that. So let's get started decorating my tree. My tree is from Home Depot. I put it over in this little corner of my living room. I just pull out the tree there and it's really the only place that it fits in the living room with our couch. So that's just where it goes every year. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate the branches. And this is like such an important part of your tree. I only started really doing this the way I should be a few years ago and it makes such a difference in how your tree looks. So what you wanna do is start at the bottom and you want to have your hands on every single tree branch. And what you're going to do is you're just going to pull apart the different branches, pulling up, pulling to the side, and just really fluffing out each and every branch. And when you're done, it's gonna make a huge difference because your tree is going to look so much fuller and so much nicer. Before I would go in and just kind of fluff a, here, you know, a few here and there, and that doesn't give you the same results. So I really think before you spend all the time decorating, this is a great thing to do at the beginning of your tree decorating. Okay guys, so I got my tree all fluffed out. It looks so much nicer and so much fuller. So I hope if you get anything from this video, it will be to do that step. Next, I'm going to add in some picks. So I wanted to show you what I'm gonna be doing. So the first thing I'm gonna add in are these little, uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I'm just gonna lay them flat on the tree. And then I also have these fun picks. Last year, if you guys saw my tree video, I put them at the very top and they were kind of just like shooting out. Well, I wanna try something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna try to do is stick them into the tree. Uh, I want my tree to be a little bit more fun and whimsical this year, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. All of these are from Hobby Lobby. I have these little silver ones. Uh, these are just like white and they all have just sequins on them. And then I have this one. So I'm gonna put those in the tree and see how they look. So my next step is going to be putting on the ribbon. And I'm actually gonna be putting on quite a bit of ribbon. So we'll see how it goes. Well, first I wanted to show you the ribbon that I picked up. And then I'm gonna show you the two techniques I use for putting on ribbon. Most of my ribbons from Walmart. I have the regular Buffalo Chuck and then this red and black one. This is gonna be kind of my predominant color, so I'll probably put on more of this. I also grabbed this one because I wanted a thicker ribbon. This is like a little velvet ribbon. One thing you wanna make sure is that your ribbon has wire in it. That way you're going to be able to really fluff it out. The non-wire ribbon won't work as well. This is my ribbon from last year. So I'll show you how I did this technique. So one way you can do it is you can just take your ribbon and cut it into strips. And then what you do is you take the ribbon on one side, leave a little bit of a tail out, and then you come back in here and you tuck a branch around it and then come over to the other side. Usually I put it at an angle, put it up to the top and wrap a branch around it. And then what that does is it creates a loop you can either leave these pieces sticking out or you can tuck them in. That is one way to put ribbon on. The second way is more of a cascading effect. And I will say this takes less ribbon. So if you don't have that much ribbon, or you don't wanna spend that much money on ribbon, do this way. The other way that I like to do it is take your ribbon, start at the top, and I just kind of let mine fall to the bottom. So go up to the top wrap a branch around it, and then tuck that part in. You don't want that to show. 
Okay, so now you're going to make some loops going down. So what you're gonna do is just take your ribbon and push it to either side. And you can either tuck it, but honestly, if you just push it back in there, it does the job. And then you just wanna make sure this is fluffed out nice. Now you can go straight down or you can go kind of at an angle. I don't want my ribbon to look too put together, so I'm gonna kind of mess it up and go at different angles. So I'll take that and I'll push it in, leaving enough room so it fluffs out. See my ribbon, see I already used like a ton of ribbon. So this technique definitely takes more ribbon. And then I'm just gonna tuck the rest of this back in here. And then spend your time fluffing it out. Okay, so that is the second technique. My one piece of advice when you're doing the ribbon, put in something like this, go stand you know, 10 feet away, look at it, see where you need to add. That's really an important thing with your tree because you want your tree to be nice and balanced. So I'm gonna probably continue down with the red ribbon, doing a strip here. Then I'll probably come in with a strip like this. And then throughout, I'm gonna throw some silvers in. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this yet. So I'm just gonna kind of play with it. Don't be afraid to do this. Just try it out. If it doesn't work, no big deal. You just pull it off your tree. So have fun with the ribbon. I think the ribbon really elevates your tree. So, you know, try one of these two techniques. If you, you know, are a little nervous about trying it, just pick one ribbon and do it throughout. My other Christmas tree video I did last year, I just used the silver ribbon. So you can always do that. So let's add the ribbon. all of my ribbon up and I think it's looking adorable. So my next step is I'm going to add in two signs. Now, uh, that's a little bit different, but I'm gonna add uh, this red one and I also have a Merry Christmas one. These are $3 from Target Dollar Spot. I picked them up last year. And I just think it gives a little bit of an unexpected element when you have bigger items on your tree. So I'm gonna add those in. I'm also going to be adding in a couple of picks and these are from Dollar Tree and I'm probably not gonna put a lot because I'll save them for my mantle but they're just going to stick in and give me a little something extra. From there, I'm going to add in my ornaments. And for me, you guys, I like to store my ornaments by color. Over the last couple of years, I've learned that that is like the best system for me because since I'm changing up my decor, when I want a specific color, I can go straight to that bin and all of the like-minded things are in there instead of having to go through everything. So last year, I did all white and silver. So I have a bin that has all my white and silver ornaments in it, and then I also I also have a bin for like red ornaments and then I also picked up a bunch of new buffalo check ornaments this year at Dollar General so I'm going to be adding those to my collection. Those ornaments are an only a dollar so they're a pretty um, good deal so I'm just going to mix and match those and use whatever works for my decor. A couple of tips that I want to share with you when you're putting your ornaments on. You want to get one or two ornaments that you have several of. So I have several of these red ones and I'll probably put between eight or nine on my tree. I also picked up nine of these. And what that's gonna do is it's going to add some consistency to your tree so that when you put on your other fun ornaments, it's going to look cohesive. I also think it's important to stay within a color scheme. It just makes your tree, you know, be more cohesive. The other thing I wanted to tell you is when you're hanging your ornaments up, you know, you don't want to hang them like on the end like this. Like, you know, like that's how my 
that's how my kids definitely put them on. But when you're hanging an ornament, you want to really pull back the branch and get it on there because you don't want that string hanging out. It's just gonna make the whole presence of your tree look so much nicer. And the other thing too is don't be afraid to reach into your tree and pull out branches to hang them on. It gives your tree a lot more depth when you have ornaments you know, towards the back. So if I reach back here, pull out one of these branches, and then I'm gonna stick it all the way to the back. You can even turn your branch up. But see now how that ornament is stuck in there and it's just going to give my tree more depth to have ornaments inside. So those are just my quick tips for you. Okay, you guys, so my next step is going to be adding in fake snow. So what I like to do with this is just add it to like just a few little um, branches and I just think it gives it just a little bit more dimension. If my tree was flocked, I wouldn't do this step, but um, I just like the way it looks. I won't put on a ton, but a little bit and it makes a big difference. All right, the final step to my tree is adding in a tree skirt. And for me, I don't like to spend a lot of money on a tree skirt. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think you need to go spend $20, $30. So what I like to do instead is just get some fabric and wrap it around my tree skirt. So I have this fabric. I got it at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. I think I bought maybe a yard of it. And I'm just going to wrap this around, tuck in the frayed edges, and it's gonna look great. And another option that I thought you could do is I have these little scarves from Dollar Tree, and these would work great wrapped around. You could just hot glue two of them together and wrap them around the bottom of your tree skirt. That's $2. So that's another great option as well. So don't feel like you have to go out and spend a lot for a tree skirt. Just use what you have around your house. Okay, you guys, my tree is all done. I would say from start to finish, it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to do this tree, which I don't think is that bad seeing how, how much I put on it. I love the way it turned out and I think it'll be really fun and I think my kids are really gonna enjoy it too. Some people are gonna ask, okay, what about all your um, kid ornaments, things like that? So for me, what we do is we have a smaller tree we put at the top of our stairs. And if you guys wanna see that, just leave me a comment below and I will definitely show you that. Um, and that's where we put our family ornaments. I do a lot of photo ornaments, so those go up there. And then both of my kids have miniature trees that they put in their rooms as well. And so a lot of their ornaments, they love decorating that. So we have a couple of trees in our house. This is like my showpiece tree that I put up. I'm hoping that you're able to get some tips from what I showed you. Maybe it's the ribbon, maybe it's how I spread out all the branches. I hope you got something from this video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, it's free. And if you missed our last video, I'm gonna link it right here so you can click on that video and go watch my last video. And once I get my mantle video done, I'll link that down in the description as well as last year's tree video. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.